baseball, and it's really, it's like a mature energy lineup. Nice take by Dave. Oh, the follow from Brooke Lopez. He's also knocked down a deep, deep three, and he's fouling at the rim. He's in the right spots. He's very comfortable. I think you're right. He was sleeping in his own bed. He's feeling good. Cool. Anthony, pocket pass. Mo Fockner, after first round opponents, depending on what happens. If the season were to end today, we didn't play this game. The Bucks would be the two seed to play the winner of that 7-8 matchup, which at the coming into today would be the Sixers and the Heat. We know that. There's just not a better look you can get. You can shoot free throws all game long, and you're a 90% free throw shooter. The other team, they cannot keep up. Mo Wagner took it off the matchup between Mo Wagner and Bobby Portis. Dame with the crossover takes it in. Can't finish. Just on it. Wagner and Bobby going back to Wednesday's game. Van Carroll missing that one. Both those guys play that way, though. Just don't forget, in particular, when you play each other twice in the span of about five days. Yeah. Bees takes it inside and shoots it in the paint. You, you were joking you, with you got to do it. You got to take what the defense gives. And that's what he was saying. We were talking at lunch, and he said, look, I got to do whatever the team needs. If that's what the defense takes away, that's what I'll do. Van Carroll with the flush. He's got the matchups that they want, and you're seeing that one there with Van Carroll throwing over Connaughton. Uh, you see down here. Bobby gives it up. Good ball movement. Working it around the perimeter to find Jay Crowder. One of those Crowder. Lopez playing the same way, but Jonathan Isaac, what an athlete. Three. Three. Kind of a double clutch with the lower body for Markel Fultz. He was fading away, though. That yep. probably didn't help his, his case for a foul. Portis. Talking about Bobby Portis. Never really gets a whole lot of thought for sixth man of the year playing on a really good team. And this guy knocked down two for ten. Yep. Orlando. Everly. Corner three Beasley. Rebound Van Carroll. Knocked away and stolen Middleton to Portis for two. Can't. Milwaukee playing with a high degree of aggression. There's a nice little slip to the rim. Suggs is back for the Magic. He's matched up against Middleton. Damian Lillard back on the floor for the Bucks. Three-point shot, Bobby Portis. That's good. The Bucks lead by 11. Mo Wagner on the scoop. Great ball movement. And Carroll holding it. And knocked away, but into the hands of Wagner. Bouncing off of Middleton. Isaac, a three from the corner. Drills it. For Mo, don't you? It does feel. Oh like wow! Hey, what about that block? His second. I think that was a pass. A lob pass. He was able to. And Isaac clean up, but a foul. Paolo upset with himself for missing what would have been a three-point opportunity. See, this is the magic at their best when you get great defense. That's a lob, but Ji able to break it up, and now look what you've got. You're in transition. Wallace for Orlando in the middle of the pack. Now, did you, and looking at Orlando on a run, they have cut the lead to four. Jumper, Isaac. No good. Rebound, Crowder. Harris, Everly. Three point shot, no good. Flat. Rebound, Wagner. Franz wants to run. Wagner stepping through the middle. Puts it in. Through contact. Franz Wagner, first points of the game. The lead is down to two. 9 0 run here for the Magic. Middleton, a screen from Lopez. Isaac on the switch. Middleton jumps in the air. Don't. <laughs> Crowder, a three-point shot. No good. Rebound, Suggs. Kick ahead to Wagner. Wagner challenging Crowder. He's fouled on the shot. Here we go. Trying to continue to compromise some of the defense, get him the ball in the right spots. I got to get him going. Both the box of the Magic, three team fouls here in the quarter. Had a really good first quarter, scoring first quarter. Bancaro did. Middleton crosses it over. Isaac again gets up. Bancaro on the push. Ten foul. Bancaro on the push. Ten fast break points for the Magic. The game, Jonathan Isaac coming out of nowhere. Three blocks here so far in the first half and creating this fast break opportunity. And well, this is exactly what he can create because on that defense that we saw early in the game, Brooke Lopez protecting, blocking. Let's say you got to stop shooting, not making shots. I think Dame and this team, they realize 
He's got to make shots for this team to be at their best. Bob they're going off the bounce baseline. A three run here to close out the second quarter. Look at the add to their three point edge. Wagner makes it a five point edge. Just on the attack. And Chris, I think, just doing a good job going down on that one because it's certainly. Seconds here of the half. Franz Wagner has it, gives it up in the corner. Look for Gary Harris. Air ball. And so that. Drawing that foul first possession. Time for a quick message from Wendy's. The box, it's good to get some points at the free throw line, but they need a touch pass to Brooke Lopez. Five here to shoot. Brooke tries, penetrates off the glass. There's your field goal. The Bucks were looking for it. And they're tangled up with Suggs, and you can tell these guys just playing with a little chippiness and saying, forget it, we're going to fight, we're going to make it. Uh -oh. Time's for it. Here comes Van Carroll up against Dane. Guys, and you just saw Pat Bev get tangled up with Gary here as Suggs come flying in. Chris dives, Brooks there. Chris Middleton kicks it out. Bobby's weight hits the three pointer. Isaac from the free throw line. Able to handle without those turnovers. Wagner. And Brooke Lopez rocks the latest. Franz Wagner in double figures with 12. There you go. Brooke, look what I found. A left-handed flush, that's it. You look at these two teams and you start to go, okay, who are they? All right, Milwaukee is a top five offensive team. Brown's right there making it marble. Not a game to play. Dame behind the back, finds it, and it drops. Melanie Ricks, what was his discussion? In like a little bit like that. Wait till you got the NASA over there making sure to let them know and reminding them. Billy Peasley. That's a two-pointer. Seven now shooting, though, from three-point territory. Here comes Chris. Off against Wagner. He wants this matchup. Chris will take it. Thank you very much. Takes a peek. Now he has Suggs on him. Cash going to work. Spinning baseline, and he's got the last four points. Great response by Chris. To work. And I'll tell you what. That second quarter was brutal. Game that he's missed here this season. Sucks with the triple tie to air ball. Wendell Carter Jr. though has entered this game. Here is. He played minimal time in the last game on Friday. Franz Wagner picks the pocket of Bobby Portis. There's the defensive guy. Sees it. Wagner with the good hands and then putting that six foot ten on display. Handoff situations. Makes good on the first. Time for a quick. Here in this game, approaching about his averages. We mentioned those games to one. Right front rim when he misses right now. Cutting towards it. Carter Jr. has made his presence felt. Three pointers good for Ben Carroll. This attempt well, a couple of times for Dane. Milwaukee obviously just need to see some of that offense go. I think to turn that energy up here and quiet the building down. You know, Carter Jr. has made a lot of big fellas that can step out and shoot him. You got Bank Arrow, and you got Franz Wagner, and you get Carter as well. Chris, a baseline jumper. And Chris by Carter Jr. here in the third quarter, outscoring the box bench 19 to 7. Well, zone defense here for Milwaukee. Uh oh. They just switched the foul from Beasley to Bobby Portis. They're closing this quarter out with a couple good possessions. Jay Crowder gives the box a much needed three pointer. Yeah, he got his hand in there, fouled him on the crossover before he shot. Nine point deficit is nothing compared to what they have come back from, but they got to shut that guy down. Franz Wagner, since the first quarter, has been hot. Would still wrap up the two seed. Not the way you want to get it, but they'll take it. You know, Orlando, a place where Doc Rivers, these results hold. The Bucks are at least a three seed. Here's Franz Wagner with the flush. Almost same play, same result, different player. 
And Dame is standing right next to Doc on the sideline. Chris Middleton fades it back. Been a bigger play by Cole Anthony getting that done, but Chris comes out and responds. A lot's got to go right, but it's got to start with shot making, no question whether it's open or tough. You just got to find a way to make it. Chris Middleton getting one. And Cole Anthony coming off that monster dunk. Trainer Ernest Eugene, former Marquette University. Defense. I mean, the defense by the Magic has been impressive. Takeaways, deflections, Joe Ingles. Bucks last. Yeah, don't go away, Steve Novak. You got a post game here to talk about Ty Ty Washington Jr. with his with inside seven minutes left to play. Anthony pouring it on. The matchers, meanwhile, coming out of that timeout for Orlando, still in this game. Marjan Bochamp, good back door, good feed by Washington Jr. To the excitement towards the end of the year to have this lineup and with seven minutes left in the game and for there to be the build up and the suspense and everybody watching I think Wagner knocking that one down I think it just gives you a night watching yeah we're definitely doing scoreboard watching of, of other games Marsh Orlando and Jamal Mosley and your number three is the head coach to get back to the playoffs Caleb Houston a tight corner shot Suppose if you're, if you got the scouts there, already watching one guy, might as well watch all of them. <laughs> yeah, it's a uh, pretty good team, too, that those. I mean, pick a team, put them in front of the Bucks, and you know you're going to feel pretty good about that. Nice little floater there by Ty Ty. As we're, that'll be after we scoreboard watch, we're trying to choose who wants to take it. Black will do the. Like, of all that's gone on, and some of that's been amazing, some of the high highs. Marjan knocking that one down, too. You just think about some of the things Giannis did this year. Amazing things, and I hope that's some of that momentum. There you go, Thanasis. Shout out to his brother. I'm sure watching at home right now. But you just Mister, That's going well as well. Oh, it seems to be going very well. Yeah. And that is the goal, and to keep people healthy, get Dame healthier. 20 in the second half alone. That's not even factoring in the second quarter. 